Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm heading out to a spot that we've got a pretty big deer this fall. And uh, I had the ability to have a stand for a north wind and a stand for a south wind. But I think this buck is going to be pretty smart. I think he's not going to be out in the openings very often unless he's in that point where he's chasing doe. So tonight I... Uh, have a blow down about 40 yards away from this opening where there's a bunch of scrapes. There's two heavy trails that meet there and a scrape that I saw two weeks ago that was already open in early September. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build a ground blind tonight where I can get back off that field about 40 yards away along these trails. And uh, if the right weather comes, I'll be all set and ready to sit in there and see if he skirts that field and I get a chance at him. of things I'm going to do with this ground blind. Uh, number one, it's on public land, so I want to make sure that I'm building this blind so that it looks as natural as possible and hopefully uh, any other hunters that pass through won't see it. Oop, there went a deer right there. Doe ran right in front of us. wet it's quiet walking so I'm just gonna keep walking like I'm a hiker not stop no hopefully it won't spook her I'm not gonna stop it tends to scare deer more than just keep walking right on past the second thing that I'm gonna do with this blind is uh, I'm gonna dig down into the ground about 16 or 18 inches so that I can put my feet down in the hole and uh, I can sit on the ground on a foam pad. And that way, on the ground, I'm just lowering my profile I'm by about a foot and a half. And oftentimes, that's just enough to make a difference so that they don't think you look like a human uh, behind a little bit of cover in front of you and also some heavy cover behind you. I got about two-thirds of the way out to the area I was going to build the blind. Realized I forgot the damn shovel. Dropped my pack and my stuff. Went back to the truck. Oh well, a little extra workout after work today. So this is the area I chose. I've got a trail that's coming across right here. And there's actually a fresh scrape just about 20 yards down below me. One trail heads out to that meadow, which got a community scrape out there. Then there's another trail that goes back here. And right here in the middle is where these trails cross. And here is what I'm gonna do to get back up against this. And so I brought some rubber gloves today, trying to reduce my hand set. Doing this a lot later than I would have wanted to. We got just over two weeks till season. But I want to get in here and get this done, leaving as little scent as possible. natural as can be. When I get in there I've got two sticks so I can put a piece of burlap in front of me so I can pull my bow without anything seeing movement. And then down here I got a place for my feet to go, a place for my butt to go, and my back can rest against that tree. 
There it is. Shallow pit blind with all natural materials. Hopefully gonna give me the opportunity to go ahead and get a shot at one of these bucks that are coming across these trails just about 40 yards away from that meadow out, meadow out there with the community scrape. Okay, folks, natural ground blind is set up, ready to go. I won't be back in there until at least the first cold front in October. Got a cell cam set up, so hoping that big guy comes back. Pretty psyched about that. My hope is to get into that natural ground blind starting that first cold front in October and hunt it when the winds are right anytime between then and Thanksgiving. I set the cell camera up, so we'll see if that big guy comes back and uh, gives us a shot, man, puts us in the game. Hey guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.